I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall tapered roller bear bearings, but most importantly, how to adjust them once you install them. Tapered roller bearings have a distinctive cap that's uh, round and protrudes out from the hub, whereas other bearings have a flat cap. The other, the other uh, way of identified tapered roller bearings is that once you open that cap, they're greasy and open to the grease and you'll see a nut and a cotter pin that locks the nut in in place so it's very easy to identify them and once you uh, master this it's uh, very important uh, that they're adjusted properly when you uh, replace them once you remove the cotter pin cage and adjustment nut you can then remove the outer bearing and washer assembly. Once you remove the uh, nut and uh, bearing and whatnot, you put them in a clean place for uh, either uh, repacking or what, whatnot, the uh, drum can be removed. But to understand what you are removing, uh, the tapered roller bearing you can see here is um, not the smaller bearing on the outside. This is upright but you can still imagine how it is and you can see the inner roller bearing with the narrow ends of the bearings pointing to each other and uh, now once you've got everything done you can put the drum back on and put the outer bearing in with the narrow end toward the inside then you can put the washer on you can see the tang that's lined up with the spindle there it is in place nice and tight and then you can go ahead and thread the nut on, making sure that you do not cross-thread that nut. And if there's any problem, see the instructor. Tighten it as you turn the drum with a pair of channel lock pliers and quite tight. And then after you've done that, you back it off with the channel locks so it's loose and once you've done that, you can go ahead and then just tighten it with your fingers. You, quite tight, but tighten it with your fingers. That'll give you zero end play. Once it's tight with your with fingers, you can go ahead and put the cage on that lines up with the cotter pin hole. You can put the cotter pin in uh, through the hole, a brand new cotter pin, and then cut, bend the, uh, X, the long part of the the uh, cotter pin so that it's out of the way and then you cut the extruding uh, cotter pin out of the bottom so that it doesn't get caught in the um, it, with the cap before you put the cap on make sure the instructor checks it i will make sure that the cap is secure or the bearing is secure i can move the nut and there's no end play and once that's done go ahead and once you've got the okay you can tap the cap back on and you're completed